What I love about this movie is that it's got everything you would want in a film. It's got lovable characters, an interesting story, a surprising twist. It's just, it's so well crafted. How did you come up with the idea? Um, thank you. Uh, I came up with the idea just over four years ago. Uh, I was sitting in my office one night, uh, I think I might have been hungry at the time, <laughs> but I also just wanted to just stretch myself creatively and come up with an idea for an animated short. And, um, you know, anytime I start coming up with ideas for stories, I just start thinking about the things that I love, the things that I want to see on the big screen. One of them is food, because uh, I'm a huge foodie. <laughs> Uh, so dumplings came to mind, and you know from there I started you know drawing. I started drawing this character, this this mom character nuzzling this little baby dumpling boy to death, mm -hmm. and from from that drawing I started to keep developing the the idea. I started weaving in my own personal experience of being an only child, being that overprotected little dumpling um, f from my uh, my Chinese mom and dad and. Uh, just started crafting the story very slowly throughout the years. And uh, in 2015, I pitched it to Pixar as a potential short film, and that's when it was greenlit. And that's when, you know, we got the ball rolling even more on, on developing it. But the story was always, this, was always the same. Uh, it was the same basic beats of like lonely, empty nester mom, uh, Dumbling comes to life for her one day, raises it, you know, big surprise at the end and, you know, final f family coming together around the dining table, so, yeah. I love that the film is set in Toronto. When you had it greenlit, was there any resistance to having it set in a Canadian city? Uh, no, uh, not, not at all. Uh, we, we came up with the idea to set it in Toronto later on, actually, when, when we were greenlit. Um, and we were talking about the location and the design of the sets and the props. And I was like, why not set it in Toronto? Uh, you know, since this story is like loosely based on my own life and I'm from Toronto, like why not set it in my hometown and pay homage to um, this city? And the, there was no resistance. Actually, it's, it's much more helpful for the art department to have real life references when they're uh, designing the sets because everything in the short has to be built like from scratch like we have to draw like blueprints basically so it was really helpful to like draw pictures of the TTC of Chinatown uh, in Toronto of the CN Tower and be like okay just use these as reference mm -hmm. and put them in the short um, and for for me uh, I thought that setting the short in a real location uh, really grounded it, really made it feel like, made the story feel like it could actually happen to, to real people. It made the, the characters um, more empathetic because they were kind of living in this real environment, not just like a generic town, so yeah. Was there a movie that inspired you as a child to want to become an animator? Uh, yeah, lots of movies, lots of Disney movies, but my favorite uh, growing up, uh, which I watched a little later on in, in, in my childhood, was Spirited Away by Hayao Miyazaki. Mm -hmm. um, I just love, like, I think it's the perfect film. It's, it's just about this girl, this, like, like this little frumpy girl who, who, who goes on this crazy magical adventure in the spirit world to save her parents. And I just love the, the attention to detail in the film, especially like with all of the food shots. I thought the food looked so delicious <laughs> uh, in this movie. And that was definitely, that, that stayed with me when I was making this short as well. I wanted the food to look as good as the food in a Hayao Miyazaki film. Um, but also like how he effortlessly blends like, like, like real feelings of like a girl growing up and going through adolescence and maturity mm -hmm. with like the magic with the magic of a spirit world. And I kind of wanted to do that with Bao too, just like blend in magic with realism um, in that way. Now that you've directed Bao. What's next for you? What can we see from you? Oh, um, very excited to say that I'm in the early stages of development right now uh, on my own feature film at Pixar. So uh, wow. that's that's what I'm working on next, and I'm really excited about it. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to me, and congratulations on this film. It's just you. amazing. Thank you so much.